This is the video and the audio quality of the Insta360 ONE X. So test mic 1, 2, 3, test mic 4, 5, 6. What's up mga idol, Tantan -tan here and welcome back to another video of Camera Lens Review. Thank you so much for keep coming back to my channel. Today's video, we're going to talk about the magical Insta360 ONE X. Right now, there are plenty of 360 camera on the market like the Theta Z1, the GoPro Max, and the new Insta360 ONE R. But the Insta360 ONE X still hold a special place in my heart. Let's start with the specs and a few things that you need to know. And for those of you who don't know what the ONE X is, it's a 360 degree camera, meaning it has two lenses, one in the front and one on the back. It can take a full video of everything all around at the same time. You don't have to point it, but you can select what angle you want to see on your footage. The ONE X is a standard 5.7K at 120 megabits. It can record a slow motion if you want to at 100 frames per second in 3K resolution for some full effects. It can also record a log format if you want to color grade your footage, but we're going to use the standard color of the ONE X. Take note that the 5.7K is for the whole 360 degree of the sphere. Once you render it, it will give you a 1080p resolution or a full HD resolution, which is okay for me. For photo capability, it has 18 megapixel resolution with the aperture of f2. It has 6 axis gyroscopic stabilization or the flow state stabilization. There is exposure compensation and manual control over the shutter speed and the ISO. It has built in Wi Fi connectivity. The camera works incredibly well by the magical or the invisible selfie stick and this is the reason why the camera is floating. There is a bullet time so you can use this effect and also the drift shot. In order to edit your footage, you can use your phone, laptop or PCs to get what cliff or angle you want. Just download the Insta360 application. There is a crystal ball effect, fish eye, perspective, and my favorite, the tiny planet. And of course, the time shift effect like the hyperlapse of GoPro and DJI. Maybe next time, I will create a tutorial video editing for ONE X or you can check or search to the other YouTuber who are good at it. In the beginning of editing, it's a little bit confusing but once you familiarize with the software, I am very sure that you will enjoy it. In my opinion, overall, the photo and the video quality is so great. Consider it's a small sensor. The ONE X color is balanced, same as the contrast. I love the flow state stabilization, it works well. About the form factor, it's okay. You can put it inside your pocket while you're traveling. Take note, you need to take care of the lens because it's easy to scratch. Anyway, on the box, there is a case included for protection. 
Another thing is this action camera is not a water resistant but you can buy this one in case you want to explore in water activity. So if you're going to ask me if I recommend this camera, well definitely it's a big yes. The One X will give you a different perspective to your video. It's good as well for filming yourself. That is why I love this camera. And that's it for today mga idol. But before that, shout out to Miss Pearl Carpio Victorino. She's one of the founder of the Bulacan Photography Group. If you have time, you can visit her page, her channel, and her new studio located in Santa Maria, Bulacan. I will put her link down below so you can contact Miss Pearl. Thank you so much for watching until the end mga idol and please don't forget to subscribe and hit nyo na din yung notification bell so that every time I post a new review or a new video, you'll get notified. Once again, this is Jonathan Sanchez aka Tantan. We make a living by what we get. We make a life by what we share. Ingat kayo mga idol. Have a good day and God bless you. Let's go! Whoosh.